Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 3rd, 2019. If you have not done so pick up your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for both pre- and post-RV planning. Link is in the description below. Simply fill out the form to register and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full version. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. We all cross the finish line together. First article of interest for today. Main U.S. base in Iraq attacked. Herbal Iraq's Ministry of Defense said in a statement on Tuesday that the U.S. and Assad Air Base came under a rocket attack, without any details on possible casualties or damages. According to the statement, at least five rocket rounds landed near the air base located in the province of Anbar. No further details are currently known on the incident and the U.S. forces are yet to comment on the report. The U.S. has previously been attacked by the pro-Iranian militia groups in Iraq. Next article of interest. Kurdistan urges the completion of the later stages of the draft federal budget to ensure their rights. The head of the Kurdistan regional government Masrur Barzani, on Tuesday, a meeting of the delegation of talks with the federal government. A statement issued by the government that the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government presented during the meeting. Details of the initial agreement during his talks with the Federal Ministry of Finance in Baghdad on the draft financial budget for 2020. The discussions of the region were conducted under the direct guidance and supervision of the Prime Minister and resulted in the participation of the Kurdistan region for the first time in the first stages of preparing the draft law draft budget 2020. The meeting expressed the hope to implement what was agreed between the two sides and urge the Kurdish blocs and the House of Representatives and other blocs to support the preparation of subsequent stages during the discussion of the draft budget, including securing the rights and financial constitutional entitlements to the Kurdistan region. The Kurdistan regional government, the Iraqi Council of Ministers approved the draft federal budget law for 2020, before the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi from office. The spokesman for the provincial government, Goudir Adel, told Shafak News, the provincial government expressed its willingness to meet its oil obligations in return for the federal government's commitment to pay the financial dues to the region in accordance with an agreement contained in the draft budget law 2020, which was approved by the Iraqi Council of Ministers before resignation. He said details of the agreement would be announced on Wednesday. A delegation from the Kurdistan regional government held several meetings in Baghdad after which they reached an agreement on the federal budget 2020. Under the agreement, details of which were announced by Iraqi oil minister Thay Mergadbin, that the oil extracted from the Kurdistan region to the Iraqi oil marketing company, SOMO, which will export through a pipeline to the Turkish port of Sehan at a rate of 250,000 barrels per day. Under the agreement, the region sends oil at the beginning of the new year, and in return install the financial dues of the region from salaries and budget in the budget law of 2020. Next article of interest. Seven banks won membership in the board of directors of the Iraqi Deposit Guarantee Company. The Association of Iraqi Private Banks, on Tuesday, won seven private and government banks membership of the board of directors of the Iraqi company to ensure deposits elections of the General Assembly, which took place at the headquarters of the association. The executive director of the Association of Iraqi Private Banks, Ali Tariq in a statement received information, copy of it, that a meeting of the General Assembly of the Iraqi company to ensure deposits a joint stock company with a capital of 100 billion dinars in the presence of the Central Bank of Iraq and the Department of Companies Registration in the Ministry of Commerce and the Iraqi Market Securities, the Retirement Authority and members of private and government banks in which the members of the board of directors of the company were elected. Tariq added that the number of shares of the company is distributed between 25% for government banks and 30% distributed between commercial banks and foreign branches and the National Pension Agency, 
while 45% of the shares were offered for public subscription. He pointed out that the winning banks on the board of directors are Rafidane, Industrial, Investment and Development and the Iraqi National in Assyria and the Guarantees Company, pointing out that the banks that won the membership of the Reserve are Rational in Iraqi Trade, TBI, and Credit, National in Mansur, Credit and Herbal. Tariq pointed out that this company is one of the most important companies established at the moment because it aims to protect depositors and preserve their rights and restore confidence to the banking sector and encourage savings and public awareness of the system of guaranteeing deposits within Iraq and manage the process of compensating depositors efficiently and effectively, noting that the proportion of compensation depositors will reach a maximum of 150 million dinars the highest compensation rate regionally and internationally. Next article of interest. UNHCR demands compensation for demonstrators. The High Commission for Human Rights called on Tuesday to compensate detainees from the demonstrations financially and morally. Anyone who has been arrested by the security services and acquitted by the Iraqi judiciary must be compensated physically and morally as he and his family have been harmed. UNHCR member Ali al-Bayadi said in a statement received by the Euphrates News. Security authorities released 15 arrested demonstrators in the capital Baghdad today against the backdrop of demonstrations in Baghdad after the intervention of the Human Rights Commission. Next article of interest. Sadr's coalition strikes the blocks and sets a condition for voting on the new prime minister. Salam al-Shamari a member of the House of Representatives, said on Tuesday that his coalition would not vote on a future prime minister without the consent of peaceful demonstrators. He said in a press statement today, his alliance stands firmly with the legitimate demands of peaceful demonstrators, especially the selection of competent national figures away from political quotas and other. The mass action proved to the world the vitality of the Iraqis and their sincere desire to build a nation based on solid foundations away from any national, sectarian or ethnic designations, he said. The future of Iraq is a purely national political process, far from anything that has been built on the wrong foundations since the fall of the former regime, he said. A delegation from the alliance handed the president of the Republic Baram Ahmed Saleh an official letter from the parliamentary bloc, Saron, in which it announced its abdication of its electoral entitlement as the largest bloc in the formation of the Iraqi government. The bloc, Soren, has announced, seed, the nomination of the prime minister, shortly after the parliament vote on the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest. House of Representatives vows to legislate an election law meets the aspirations of the people. Speaker of the House of Representatives Mohammed Habousi held an expanded meeting of the two vice presidents and heads of political blocs and experts with the participation of the Deputy Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq and the Electoral Assistance Team of the International Organization, in a series of ongoing meetings to discuss the election law of the Iraqi Council of Representatives. He said in a statement received to Twilight News, are keen to complete an election law that meets the aspirations of the Iraqi people, and expand the circle of participation, and rebuild confidence for voters, pointing out that, the participation of Iraqi and international experts from the United Nations reflects the keenness of the House of Representatives to achieve a fair electoral system, these discussions will lead to a political decision that is consistent with the new phase in Iraq and the demands of the demonstrators. Participants in the meeting reviewed the failures of the electoral process in the past years, stressing the need to update the voter register in accordance with the population presence in Iraq. The United Nations Electoral Assistance Team gave a presentation on the types of electoral systems in the world, indicating the need for privacy in some cities and mixed districts and with regard to the displaced, expressing its readiness for technical assistance and increase the number of experts. The expanded meeting also hosted technical staff from the Commission, where they gave a presentation on the technical possibilities available and the requirements of the new electoral system of technical support and preparations related to the electoral process, from population counting to data updating and voter registration.
Next article of interest. Saleh calls for the involvement of the masses in the selection of a new prime minister for Iraq. A delegation from the Sarun Alliance, backed by Sadr's leader Muqtada al-Sadr, met on Tuesday with President Baram Saleh. The delegation handed over an official letter from the parliamentary bloc, Sorin, declaring its waiver of its electoral entitlement as the largest bloc stressing that the people are the largest bloc and that the options for peaceful demonstrations are ours, a coalition statement said. The president stressed the need to involve the public in the process of selecting the next prime minister. The delegation included Sara and MP Sadiq al-Sulaidi, deputy head of the bloc and MP Hamdala al-Rakabi bloc spokesman. Next article of interest. Expert expects Security Council to refer corruption file to the International Criminal Court. Legal expert Ali al-Tamimi, on Tuesday, expected the Security Council to send the file of corruption to the International Criminal Court, warning of the return of international sanctions on Iraq. Al-Tamimi said in a statement to al Akbaria that, the beginning of the new sanctions on Iraq after we came out of Chapter of the 7th under Resolution 2390 of 2019 and we are now in the 6th chapter for the existence of financial assets with Kuwait worth $4.5 billion. He added that, the killing of demonstrators and the use of internationally prohibited weapons are gross violations of Articles 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and 21 of the Charter of the International Covenant and Article 14 on the Prevention of Arrests as well as the Convention on the Prevention of Genocide of 1948. Humanity, therefore. The fear is that the gradual sanctions will return in accordance with Articles 39-51 to 51 of the Charter and that the Security Council will refer the corruption file to the International Criminal Court after condemning the U.S., Britain and France, which is a permanent member of the Security Council, condemning the security situation in Iraq. Next article of interest. Trump, Iran kills thousands of citizens and the media has to go to find out what's going on. U.S. President Donald Trump said that Iran is killing thousands of citizens, calling on the media to be there to know the truth of what is happening. I think what is happening in Iran is a terrible thing and the world sees large numbers of deaths in Iran, thousands of people are being killed in Iran, Trump told a joint news conference with NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg in London ahead of the NATO summit. The press and the media must be there to find out what is really happening, he said. Be sure to like and subscribe to be alerted as news unfolds from Iraq. Get your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. Link is in the description below. Fill out the form to register and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full version. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. More articles of interest to come. Over and out for now. The Denarian.